Molecular biology looks at how different molecules, DNA, RNA, and proteins interact with each other and mechanisms that they are involved in in cells. So typically, a molecular biologist on a day-to-day -day would be growing plants or bacteria or human cells and trying to understand how these molecules are responding to different stimuli uh, in the environment or induced, for example, drugs that we use in our projects to try and understand how cancer cells are responding to different drugs that are given to patients. The projects that we're working on at the moment are focused in blood and ovarian cancers. Um, specifically uterine and ovarian cancer for the gynecological cancers, that is cancers that occur in women. We're trying to understand how patients who are either resistant to treatment or have relapsed and have run out of options can find um, FDA approved therapies that could be administered from them. So we look at how a specific patient would respond to drugs from a library that we have of about 700 drugs and then compare that to what the patient has already been administered to try and see if other options can be made available to that specific patient. What excites me about this career path is in the projects that we're doing, we are able to discover drugs that could provide other options for patients who are either resistant or have run out of options for their treatment. And especially among our African patients, we find a lot of drug resistance or relapse at uh, advanced cancer stages because most of them present when it's very late in their diagnosis. And so just being able to provide options for them uh, would provide better prognosis for these people who are really ill. In this career path, I find that because we work with a lot of collaborators and hospitals, different labs and offices, one has to be a team player and also one needs to be able to manage their time well. Uh, you find that we're collecting samples from the hospital and then we bring them to the lab. We're also working in office spaces. So you also be a need to be able to communicate very well. The hard skills that one would require, because these are very precious samples that we work with, patients who are resistant to drugs or have relapsed, one has to pay great attention to detail in the work and the experiments that they do in the lab. You have to be meticulous about how you handle yourself uh, with those samples because it's likely that you're never going to see that sample again. The future of precision medicine is evolving quite rapidly. A lot of new technologies are becoming available to the researcher in terms of things like genome sequencing and high throughput platforms that are available to us. And these technologies give us deeper insights into understanding how patients can be treated or diagnosed. So I see the future providing earlier diagnosis and better treatments for patients who are in dire need of these options.